Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. It is time for another Ashen Shadows campaign, very much thanks to the works of Tarsus. Linked down below in the description you can find more information about the mod, how you can install it and how it's going to work. It is in the form of a Google Doc, so read it and inside you will find the installation link. Now this is going to be a bit of a controversial series, um, I have to be carefully monitoring the comment section on this one. Because it's an Israeli campaign, and let's just say that there's already enough happening in the world around Israel to uh, start a whole conflict in the comment section. This is a game, and I hope you guys can see it as such. I think it's a great idea to have an Israeli campaign in this game, because it's a faction that it was added later, um, and as such it didn't really get any kind of attention in the campaigns. The campaigns were there, and then Israel got added later. Now, I'm not sure what YouTube has been doing lately, but they have been giving my channel seemingly a pretty rough time. So if you could help me get back on track, I would greatly appreciate that. Be sure to be subscribed. Make sure that that is actually a thing, because sometimes YouTube seems to unsubscribe you for no reason. It's happened to me with a couple of channels. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell, because that too, um, I don't know, sometimes YouTube just does not notify people about my videos. And give the video a like. Stuff like that will really help. Oh, and if you want to throw in a bonus, just leave a comment. Right, I have not played the campaign. I have no idea what's waiting for me here. So let's see what Tarsus has planned. As tensions rise between Turkey, Israel and their Arab neighbors, Turkey feigns an attack on the northern border of Israel. With a majority of Israel's forces waiting in the Golan Heights, Egypt and Syria blitz across the Gaza Strip and sack Jerusalem. Any IDF forces in the southern Israel are overrun or surrender, as the IDF holds the line outside Tel Aviv. A US expeditionary task force near Cyprus promises to help Israel, as the Jewish state is at risk of falling completely. Operation David's March commences to retake Israel. Excellent intro. Now this cinematic I'm going to skip because it's the usual bear versus dragon cinematic. Um, it doesn't line up with November this particular story at all. For those of you wondering, by the way, this is a custom mod. I'm just going to reiterate because some people just keep asking stupid questions in the comment sections. It's a mod. You can install it into Wargame yourself. Um, I don't provide tech support on it. The Google Doc has everything that you need to know. And it also installs Ash in Shadows, which is a mod that adds a ton of modern units. No, this is not a DLC, this is a mod. Welcome to the front line, Major. Last week, Turkey feigned an invasion on our northern border. The ruse allowed Egypt and Syria to capture Gaza and Jerusalem. Tel Aviv has been under constant MLRS rocket attack since, and our state is at risk of annihilation. Turkey has warned that they will get involved if we attempt to retake the territory. They seem to be pulling the strings, but we will not back down. Retake Gaza and Jerusalem. US expeditionary Marines sorry, US Marines expeditionary forces can assist in the marine landing to retake Gaza. From there we can land more forces that are cut off in the north. Your mission, Operation David's March, is to push all enemy forces out of the Gaza Strip and hold at Arish, so we can enter peace negotiations from a position of power. You have 18 days to complete your mission. That's pretty long. Several of our airfields were captured. I recommend securing them, as it will allow forward deployment of our forces into Jerusalem and Netivot. U.S. Air Force has sent Bomber Squadron to help, and they are under your command. Admiral Katsav of Shaitat 13 will be providing intel. Good luck. Major, I'll be relaying intel from Mossad operators behind enemy lines. Our task force is positioned at the front line of Re uh, Rehovot. Merkava MBTs with mechanized infantry will spearhead the operation. Marines are ready to embark from Haifa, but the coast is blockaded. Our navy will need to clear the way. Gaza is very valuable to our mission, plus 10 political points. Damn. With the help of US Marines, our, landing, our naval landing should be able to secure the sector. Our armored battalion could assist at Gaza or move towards Jerusalem to liberate the city of David and give us an airfield to deploy troops and aircraft from. The choice is yours, but if Jerusalem is ignored, the animal there will likely counterattack to retake Gaza. The choice is yours. Now, Tarsa said I need to rotate the map like this, and that uh, sort of lines up with Jerusalem. 
uh, sorry, with uh, Israel, kind of. Right. What do we have here? This is the Bear versus Dragon campaign. Um, so normally I would be China pushing into Russia. Let's see. What are my assets? What do I what do I have? I got the 900th, 900th Kafir Brigade. One command unit. That's dangerous. A couple of resupply vehicles. Rovait in a Merkiva CQB. Nice. Dorban LR, but only two of them. In the Nomer IFVM. Um, Tars has already sent me a screenshot of these things. They're really nice. They are uh, a mix between an IFV and a mortar. They have 21 frontal armor, which puts some tanks to shame, such as the Merkaba. They have uh, a mortar, they have an APS, and they have a Bushmaster. And they can do 150 kilometers per hour. But they are very limited in number. I have two of them for the Dorbin, and I have two of them for the PAL, uh, PALNAT, which is an HEGM-ish team, I guess. We also got the Bazak, which is an NTR team, and those come in the Namer, which is a very heavily armored transport, but it only carries machine guns. All right, we got the BTR TCM, old school, the Drakon for NTR defenses, Isuf Kravi, sniper reconnaissance team, well, sort of, no, it's a standard recon team, but they have a sniper with them, and they get. <laughs> We get a recon team that's transported by a tank. <laughs> Traveling in style. <laughs> also, the Hamer Orev and the Makmat. Okay, cool. Uh, 7th Sar Migolan Armor Brigade. Four Merkava 3 Picud command tanks. Oshkar's resupplies. These are going to drain very quickly if you want to repair some tanks. Barkan ATGM, oh, sorry, NT Air with the Namer. Um, 12 Merkava 4s with 23 frontal armor, 15 side armor. Good God. Um, the Lahat HEGM. Maybe an APS, although I'm not seeing it. The Merkava 4 Mailroach. Seemingly an upgrade. Although I'm not really seeing that many benefits. Oh, this one, yeah, this one has a trophy APS. This one does not. So the 17 points that you pay as a surplus for the uh, Mile Ruach is the APS. APS, in case you're not familiar with it, active protection system. It shoots down HEGMs that are flying towards the tank. Merc of a 3B, with a grenade launcher, with a smoothbore gun, 21 frontal armor, uh, half the side armor of these things, and 21 AP. Pretty decent unit. Two Tyran 5 Blazers as reconnaissance units. And finally, the Pulsar 7th, uh, sorry, Pulsar 7 356th Recon Company. Uh, that's the famous drone. Uh, this is the Elbit Hermes 900 UAV. Again, Tarsus sent me a screenshot of these things. They have a very long time over target of 165 seconds. That's a little under three minutes. They come with jammer pods, which are capable of seeking and suppressing enemy uh, weapons that can be sought out, which is anti-air, but also artillery. They have the Spice 250 ER, which is a GPS-guided seeking bomb. That means that they will target things at great ranges and then kill them off. And in case that does not work, because the high explosive damage is not enough, I also have the GBU-53 small diameter bomb. Good. Now, I think that the first step is to try and push these guys in. But I'm also very much looking forward to capturing strategic sectors, such as the ones that give me a lot of points. What else do I have? I got the 84th Givati Brigade. More Palnat, Givati in a Hilo in the U860. Shaitat at 13, but only two of them in the Asur Nimrod. Still extremely potent ATGM units. 29 AP. Good God. Givati, Dorban in the Aitan. Uh, wheeled transport. Pretty heavily armored transport for a wheeled unit. APS, Bushmaster, and the Spike LR2 ATGM. More Shayatet, but this time around in the Namer. We got 
two Hovets for Entier. This is a weak Entier group. Merc of a 3B. Uh, Isuf Kravi. This time transported in the Ansuf instead of a tank. Maglan Heavy. Nice. Maglans with their standard missiles. And the Heavy Tag means that they are more difficult to kill. Same as the Shite at 13. The Heavy Tag means that they take less high explosive damage. Uh, Isuf Kravi again. <clears throat> this time around in the Merc of a CQB. Laish for smokes, Tsefa E, and the SH 60B Nimrod. Um, reconnaissance unit with two Nimrod missiles. Ooh, these are tank hunters. Naval units Shayatet, Amphibious, Arsarit Pikut, Amphibious, LCU. This is the Sa'ar S72. Ah, yes. Um, these are Corvettes. They are exceptionally dangerous to ground units. They have an Otomolara 76mm gun with a really good rate of fire. 43 rounds a minute and they pack 960 rounds. They have tactical SRBMs with a range of 52 kilometers, doing 90 high explosive damage. And they got the Stunner, which is a defensive weapon, which can track helicopters out to 3300 meter range and planes out to 7800. Very accurate. And they carry 144 of those. One STRB-90H. Old school. Well, relatively, <laughs> when you look at them compared to the standard game. Coastal Cutter. Mark 34 gun. This thing carries 960 shells and this thing carries 100. Right. But then again, you're paying 55 for this and 20 for these. I'm not really too excited about these. Um, a couple of Merc of a Tanks, Oshkosh Amphibious, and one Type 31. <clears throat> the Brimstone 2 missile. Excellent. Okay. Planes. The Akef, which is an exceptional air detection plane with 60 ECM, 1150 speed, and missiles ranging 8.5 kilometers. F 35I Adir, which is capable of whacking tanks for 27 AP with fire and forget bombs. And 6 CF-18 ASUW, so anti-surface warfare, capable of hitting ships out to 9 kilometers. Excellent. What can I call in? Uh, quite a lot. Good god, this whole first episode is going to be just seeing what I can field. Shaitet 13, sorry, Shaitet 3, 31st Missile Ship Squadron. Consisting of 6 Independence class ships. I'm not a big fan of those. Coastal Cutters, LCUs, and a whole bunch of Super Pumas. This is the damage dealing group. Everything else is pretty subpar. US Navy 6th Fleet. I like the Independence class thumbnail there. Five Independence ships, one Anzac, and four Type 26s. With very long range anti ship missiles. 9.5 kilometers out, out to relative to 8.7. Okay. Land Forces, the 1st Golani Brigade, FOB, 10 Rios, Tsananim, with Heavy, Itan, where do I call these in? At an airport. Okay, so ideally I would just immediately go and capture an airport, but good luck getting there. Um, Golani, Dorban Alar, Masaya At, oh these things got a buff, the MTAR-21, the Mark 19 grenade launcher and a javelin. But it only fires high explosive out to a range of 2600. Interesting. And we got the cachette, which is another mortar vehicle. 215th Pillar of Fire artillery regiment. One fob, Mark 290s, the Doher, the Laura, and the cachette. The Laura. Tactical SRBMs. Okay. IDF, Air Defense Company, TF-3, 6 Bazak, 4 Kelah David, with a stunner missile out to 78, uh, sorry, 7.8 kilometers, and 6 Mahbet. IAF, 5, uh, 5101 Sheldag, 13, only 2 of them. What are you? You're a recon group. Saifan, Elint... And sniper teams ish, and uh, the Barak reconnaissance slash HGM brigade, <clears throat> four HGMs, four Maglan heavies, 
8 Pere up to 3,800 meters. Where the hell are you going to make that work? It has to be somewhere out in the desert. Otherwise, you just don't have the range. Hammer my pots and the Elbit drone, as I have shown previous. 162nd Armored Division has the 933rd Nahal Mech Brigade. Loads of infantry here in all sorts of different makes. The Nahal, Messiah At, Golani with AP, RPG 7 VRs. Pretty damn dangerous. Short range only. Uh, and more Golani. So we've got 24 Golani in the Achsarit and the Namer. Okay. Magic Touch Squadron 190. One Command Infantry. Two Saraf um, Apache ish. Hellfires and Stingers. Okay. Then three Peten. And five Lahatut Mapats. So this is very much an anti tank group. And we got the Iron Tracks Brigade. That's my armor group. Merc of a 2B, 4, 4 Mile Roach, and 3B. Okay. Marine Expeditionary Force. 12 Marines. USMC AT section. More US Marines. These times with the heavy tag, but transported by a Pavlo as opposed to the LVTP 7A1. Both are great transports. The Venom capable of doing heat damage to enemy tanks. Well, any enemy transport, that is. Delta Force in the ACV, capable of lobbing TOW-2 missiles. One Delta Force in the Dark Hawk, so if you really want to be hunting command units, this is how you do it. And they got the MBDA Enforcer, which is a 24... <laughs> holy shit. 24 armor-piercing weapon. LAAD Stinger 2 teams, Patriot Pack for anti, sorry, for anti planes, 6 tanks, Reconnaissance, Marine Force Recon again with the Ezra and the Barrett. I had a bit of an, an argument with these guys in the previous campaign because they were very much hell bent on using their Barrett, their, their sniper rifle, which, yes, it does do damage to tanks, but the Elrod, oh, sorry, the Ezra does that a bit better. I had to turn that off. The RAH-66 Comanche, with a GAU-19, a Hellfire, and a Stinger, but I only get one. Cobra, Super Cobra, and this is another new invention by Tarsus. The MH-6M Melb. This is an Elint plane, capable of spotting things that give out uh, detectable signals, such as radar-guided units. They fire heat rocket pods, they have a GAU, and they have seeker pods, or rather jammer pods, that can seek and suppress enemy units, out to a range of 11.5 kilometers. So this is basically a seed helicopter. Naval, we've got a command tank, four landing tanks, eight M60s with an upgraded gun. Transports, independence, coastal cutters. Okay, this is an interesting gr gr uh, group the first marines, but I will need serious work, serious escorts in order to get these to land in Gaza. Um, we've got four Veer over here. So that's long range ASM. Sorry, ASHM. Um, 12 kilometers out. Can I take these? At six knocks out to thir uh, sorry eighty seven fifty, one Durek at the twelve kilometers, one Krivak at the twelve kilometers, Chongju, basically naval artillery, and Nanushkas. Yeah. Okay. I need to control all the way to here to Arish before turn eighteen. This is gonna be a pretty long campaign by the looks of it. If I want to push into here. I can then make my way into Gaza by land, but that would take a few turns. Or I can try to capture Jerusalem, deprive them of their air force, and start spawning in shit here. But... Yeah, that's the problem. If I spawn it in here, it's going to have to go there, and then there, and then here. That's always the problem with this map. There is no land connection between this and that. So you have to go on a large circumnavigational course. Hmm. Not great. Not great. Okay. Overarching strategy. 
if I'm capable of wiping out this naval group, I'll then be able to land in Gaza. How would that look? I'm coming in from Naval Sector Bravo. I need to capture this one, that one, or that one. Oh, you can still see the old names here. Um, that's something that the Marines could do. And then I have a port here, which allows me to carry in more units. These guys have to move this way. There's no real question about it. They just have to move in. Kiryat Gat. Do I have all the units capable of fighting in the same turn? No, I do not. Because my tanks have no initiative left. So if I want to do this, I'm going to have to ha have them fight me on their part of the turn. What do they have coming in? I'm not going to go through every single battle group that they have just right now, but I'll, I'll do it as they come up. We got Sayat Kornet, so that's HGMs, Fedayin, Militia, but a, quite a large amount of them. Also carried by the BMT-84. That's a tank. Interesting. When I have tanks that are capable of transporting infantry, like the Merkava CQB, they only carry 9 shells. The BMT has no such problems and carries 28. But they don't do as much damage. 18. Oh, this one does even less. 16. Great. Sayat Enforcer. Oh, that's the MBDA Enforcer that we have on the Delta Force as well. So be careful with infantry. Or with uh, vehicles. The Ayan al Sakr. Strela teams. Jundi Kafifa. More HGM guys. I'm seeing a lot of NTGMs. I'm not seeing a lot of anti-air defenses on the infantry. So that might be an option. Unfortunately, that's not the only thing they have. Because they also got the Flakom Osa AK. The Tochka, which is a, a tactical SRBM. Buratino. Shit. Um, the RM-70, which is another... And four technicals. Ah, they're weak from the skies. At least you'd think so. Up until the point where I get to the plane section. Wait, they don't have any? Oh. So I can just pick off everything from the skies. If I use aircraft. Aircraft either in the form of helos or in the form of planes. Unfortunately, none of these groups have helos. Crap. T-55 tanks. Seriously, this is some sort of spare regiment, because these are far more dangerous. The BMT-84. Kashaf with the Metis M, but a terrible range. 1575. Also transported by... I'm going to have to kill a load of these things. If I'm going to do this, I think it might be safer to wait for the tanks to show up. And maybe, well, I'm a bit torn. If I do not do this battle now, I'm going to get hit by their aircraft. If I do do the battle now, I won't have any armor. Is there anything I can just sort of air drop on them? Ra'am. Oh shit, I didn't even check my air force. Uh, the hammer squadron. Ra'am. These could be very useful in the battle that I have coming up here. Jadams. Kefir. 1400 <laughs> kilogram bombs. Uh, 450s. And the Akef. I think these are going to be very useful. Golden Eagle Squadron. Anti-tank. Anti-infantry. Anti-infantry. Flying Tiger. The Brakit. With glide bombs. Kurnus. With seeker missiles, so targeting both HG no not HGMs, uh, artillery and anti-air, and the Sufa is capable of doing damage to tanks. And the United States Air Force F-111s, F-111Gs. Oh, they borrowed those from Australia. Six 1,000 kilogram bombs. <laughs> Hard marks with 3340s. Napalm bombs and standards. Oh my god, these things are amazing. And the fighter squadron is lightnings and block 52s. 
Well, these are not that great. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Yeah, these guys cannot assist. Crap. They can assist in the naval battle. I'm definitely going to have to send in an air group here and just try to wipe out this this whole force as quickly as I can. And I think the the F-35s, oh, sorry, the F-111s are ideal for that. Off you go. And then, to bolster my naval units, I think that I need to send in the missile supply ships, or the, the missile ship squadron. No. No, 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 no. These. The Type 26 with a long range into ship missile. 10 points. Okay, we're going to push on their ships. We're going to send in the aircraft. I'm going to wait till embarking until I see how the situation is over there. But I think I might... I might be able to push them out. But I'm going to hold the marines here. I have 18 days to complete this. So the battle that I'm looking at right now is Kiryat Gat. Is there anything I can call in for 5 points? It's all 10. 10, 10, 25, 10, 15... 10, 10, 10, 15... No. Alright. Let's make it rain. Let's make it rain. That was quite a long lead-up time, but I had to figure out what my assets are and what I can use and how I can best deploy them. I do see one problem. I do not have a lot of staying power. I don't have tanks. The best I have is then a mare, which is very heavily armored, but when it encounters a tank, it's going to be in trouble. That's what I have my air force for. So, the plan... Make sure I have early intel on anything and everything that comes my way. So reconnaissance is going to be key in this battle. Can you swim? You cannot swim. Okay. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to be at the bridge. Um, if I can capture this, I can get an air route and a land route. So I can start bolstering my forces here. And once I get into that town, I'm going to be safer. But getting there is going to be tricky. The Hamer Orev and the Makmat. Well, Makmat could be useful. As my aircraft are spooling. Hamer Orev against the tanks, maybe. I at least want one of these. This is for anti-tank warfare. This is for anti-infantry slash vehicles. These drop 12 and these drop 30 Mark 20 rock eyes. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to start deploying some infantry. The Merc of a CQBs might be able to hold up a little bit. Even though they're very poorly uh, equipped to deal with tanks. I don't have a FOB. And I only have one command unit. If this guy gets wiped out, I'm going to be in a ton of trouble. I think I'm going to have to deliver a hammer blow real quick. Like very, very, very early on. Let's wait to see what they have, and then respond. Uh, the Dorban LR. See, normally in this campaign I just ambush here, and here, and sometimes here. Maybe I can put some Dorban in there. But I only have two, so I have to be real careful. Go there. And you're going to also get a couple of Rova to secure your position. There. Go. Go, drop, 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 drop. Thank you. I got a nice amount of income. Uh, maybe I can send some Maglan over here to try and find the command unit. You guys here drop off and fall back to below the ridge line. Let's see if we can find anything that there that needs suppressing. Immediately the drone drops. No, it doesn't. Hold on. Are you bugged? Wait one. Because he's not supposed to evac that quick. No to auto evac uh, Winchester. Oh, shit. No. Apply. Yes. Hold. Uh-oh. 
I think it's time to start dropping off units here. Also, we're just going to carpet bomb this area. With one of the F-11s. So this is six 500 kilogram bombs and napalm. Anything comes in here, it's going to have a really hard time. I want you in there. You over there. You over here. Unload. Go back. There, that's a plus 70. I need more intel. <clears throat> um, sniper team-ish. Go right there. Mark over here. Drop. Drop. Mark of a back. Mark of a back. Okay, you're out of jammer pause. There's a Terminator out there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can take it out. No, I can't. The fucker's too heavily armored to take out with a tank? Really? Come on. Nope, didn't, didn't drop in time. Give me another aircraft. These are the cheap T-55s, but they can give my infantry a really, really rough time. Where do you need us, sir? Thank you. There we go. That was pretty valuable. Where do you need us, sir? Now I need to do the same thing slightly different. Slightly different position. Thank you. Come on, fly boys. Wipe out some armor. There we are. Okay. What? What are you shooting at? A tank? How do you see that going down? You guys are going to have a stern walk ahead of you. Uh -oh. Good. Eliminate it. Infantry? No, tank. Merkava? Eliminate it. Alright, you're gonna get an Oshkosh. Oh, shit. Kill that. I think... That's just standard MLRS. If that was the Buratino, I would have had a substantially larger... Well, fire to worry about. Drop complete. There we go. That was one MLRS unit. Get some more reconnaissance here. So far, so good. I'm holding so far. Give me another drone. Oh, there you are. Aerial unit. What's happening? Merkava got destroyed. Oh, shit. Oh, that was valuable. Uh, give me another 111C. I'm going to take out the flak calm, although it is dangerous. And I think it's time to start bringing in some NTR here. Come on. Wipe it out. Dodge, 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 dodge. Got him. Do I wait? I'm having a rough time of it. Anything with air to air missiles? No. Alright, we're gonna have to improvise then. Drop it right underneath the helo and see what happens. It's a bit of an alternative bombing run, but if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll have to wait for the drug on. It didn't work. Something else got damaged, though. Oh, that was the other one that got killed. Good. Oh, shit, you guys are still here. These Rovite are not up for this fight. Uh, the Nemer might be. A coronet over there. A group of whatevers is over there. 100 points? No, 10 points. Shit, he didn't drop. 
Save the Rova 8. We need them alive. We're gonna push back. They might not have a ton of ammo, but they have grenade launchers. And it looks like these are all very much panicked. Ah, you're here. Good, take out that Toshka. That was the short... Holy shit! Hold on a moment. New bombing target, right there. They just spawned in everything in their mother, look at that. Get out. Good grief, this is gonna be precious. Precious, precious, precious. Boom! And there's a command unit as well. Um, I want you to take out that command unit. Drop off. Shit, I lost two Merkavas. Oh, crap. Short range firepower against T-55s. Good work. Does that stop them from spawning or do they have a second? If they have a second, I need to hunt that down as well. They do not have a second. Well done, drone. Maglan, thank you for spotting. That was perfect. Alright, there is more to be had here. Let's go on a general carpet run here. Still something burning in there. I lost another CQB. Easy kill. Push forward. You there. Drop off. Is it the Pal Nut? Let's get another couple of Oshkoshes in here. I want you back. Because you're virtually empty. What you find. Did you drop? Yeah, you did. Okay. So, they still have at least two command units left. Fox and Jerusalem. If I can get in here, that'd be great. But it seems like I'm not the only one. And I only really have two Rovri to push with. So my ability to do damage here is reduced. My ability to grab terrain is in trouble. Let's just push the Dorban and the Rova 8 forward. Oh, 815. I'm going to capture that. Because I don't have that many supplies of my own. Hello. That's dangerous to my tanks. Come on, get rid of them quickly. Because that just took out half a tank. Jesus. Yep, there they are. We've got an artillery shell coming in. Origin. Come on. No. I'm going to try and capture Charlie. Just push in a bit more. And hope that they come to me. Because in here I have some cover. Do I have some mobile reconnaissance units? Yeah, HVMS could be useful here. Uh oh. He's gonna bite back. He's going with a general artwork. Cluster bombs and standard bombs. Or 14. What's that? Transports. Looks like BMPs. The sky is ours. Those are the... Yeah. Let's just do a general carpet bomb here. See what salutes. Thank you. Move. 60. Times 2. Gladly. What the hell are you bombing? Oh! Very good. Well done. Well done. That was another artillery unit, I think. Rovate right to the building. Dorbin Alar. Ooh. Line of sight here is dreadful. The sky is ours. How dangerous are these? Ideally eliminated before they get close. General carpet bomb. I want to capture that fob. If I can hold that, I can bring that on to the next battle. 
So by all means, go for it. Hmm. Heavy damage, no kill. Oh shit. More enforcers. Come on over, you got this. I'm gonna bomb this. YPR 765s? They're originally Dutch units. Don't bomb the overheat. Danger close, danger close, danger close. Wiped out. Napalm the rest of the area for reinforcements. Uh, and a mare over there. Merkov is forward. I'm gonna have another Oshkosh. Come on. These are just a couple of HGM guys. They're not that dangerous. All planes are cycling, so they're gonna have to work it without air support. Uh oh. Take him out, take him out, take him out, quick! One down. The mayor taking transport or taking damage. Good work, Dorbin. I swear there's something still shooting me from here. There's still some artillery alive. Ah, oh, crap, I lost the HVMS. Push. That is... Holy shit, that's their tactical laser BM. Unfortunately, both drones are spooling, so I can't have any assistance here. This is cluster, this is standard. They just keep spamming missiles at me. Efficiently as well. There's another BM-284 coming in. Got, got him. I've got three of them, in fact. Just carpet bomb that town. I might be able to get the tank. Oh, oh. Get him. Well done. Take out the cornet. Quick. You're not supposed to survive that. There you are. Oof. Get over here. Find and eliminate some artillery for me. They captured it! That's particularly interesting. Uh, I could really use an aircraft here to deal with these BMT-84s. Time left, 20 minutes. They don't seem to have a lot of reconnaissance here. What we got there? Infantry. Ignore. Something's popping into the air here. Fedeen. Markovas are taking too much damage. This is a standard F 111C. Fine. Just do it. It's not an ideal weapon against these units, but at this point, I'll take anything I can get. Napalm will also continue to stun lock them. I need to get these guys out of here, because they're about to lose. These Rove 8 are doing a lot better. I should kill them. Come on. Thank you. Pull back. Cycle in a fresh group of Rove 8. These guys are elite, making them even more valuable. Maglan, keep going. If we can capture that fob, we can bring it with us to the next battle. That's your priority. These, over here, I'm going to find and eliminate their next CV. Because if I can eliminate the CV here, they don't have a spawn point. Oh, great. Thank you. Very useful. Can you kill that? I'd rather doubt that. A drone can kill it, though. You can kill that one, you can kill that one. Use those small diameter bombs. Dropped. 
dropped. Off we go. Here they come. One down. Two down. Thank you, drones. You're awesome. That was exactly what I needed. Go and get that fob. Recon team. Sell me a command vehicle. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not supposed to get spotted. You are the ones that spot. Hold on. Just carpet bomb these towns. Make sure that there are no units dealing damage to the reconnaissance unit here. Dropped. Dropped. Those would be the Urals. Whoa! Jackpot. I like it. Got the fob. Perfect. That's a ton of supplies. Do I have anything that comes with a recon helo? No. Shit. Another Merc of a Bites the Dust. Carpet bomb this right now. Before that Merc of a dies. Thank you. That slows them down somewhat. Use those Dorbin Alars we supplied. No, no, no. Missiles only, missiles only, missiles only. I think this position is becoming a little untenable. Oh, come on, you're not close enough. Go! Get these guys some missiles. Seriously, get them some missiles! Before it won't matter anymore. are getting blown up. I have no idea where they're not getting resupplied. Carpet bomb. Danger close. But without this, I will not be able to hold this territory. Because they're bringing in a lot of forces now. Fall back. I'll try to cover your escape with a smokescreen. Oh, I lost my recon team there. Hold the line. Do I have anything that's going to be useful here? A tank would be useful. Just keep suppressing that area. Nope. These are Merkavas. You didn't drop? That is the worst time not to drop. What the fuck are doing here? Militia guys. Markov is not interested. Charlie's still secured by the enemy. Hmm. Uh -oh. Ah, the Dorbans are back. They finally have some missiles. Oh shit, shit. There's too much in that town. Very happy that the Rovait survived. I'm gonna have to pull back to this other forest here, because at this rate I won't have a forest soon. Another danger close bombing run. Where are those Merkavas? You only dropped your cluster bombs, which could No. Shit. Come on. Just smoking up the position as best I can to try and get as much time for my infantry to fall back and for my reinforcements to arrive. These are only sniper teams. Fall back. Do I have any? I 
Got two Rios left. That's not a whole lot. Oh shit, here come the BMPs. Sorry, BMTs. Holy. Alright, that's your target. Right there. A lot of red in that sector. I would love to capture this, but it's currently too dangerous to try and do that. Immediate contact with the Ferrin. Fall back. Rios, fall back. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you took the scenic route, dropping your bombs. Okay. That's going to come in at the exact right time, because they're launching their BRDMs now. By some miracle, the Rovahit are still alive. Jesus, drop anything here and you're going to drop a lot. Let's drop a little bit of ordnance. See what hits. I'll take it. Nope. Didn't drop. What? Shit. Another BMT-84. Use those spikes, take out that tank. Be quick about it. Nope, missed. Those BMT-84s are murdering everything here. Got one. Need to be up on here. Kill. That's the wrong unit. Fuck. Carpet bomb this. Wipe out that tank. Got another one. That was a transport, not a tank. Officially, these BMTs are also transports. Come on. Thank you. Well done. I don't have reconnaissance here. Wash cautious, make yourself scarce. Thank God the reconnaissance infantry survived. Not by much. Quad stack the bunch. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Overwhelm. And eliminate. Thank you. Artvark. There are more and more and more BMT 84s coming in. And they're very heavily pushing on this flank now. Oh, there goes the interior. No hits. Come on, this thing has nothing on me. Oh. These things are dangerous when it comes to dealing with vehicles, but they have nothing on infantry. You need to fall back. Fuck, are we getting detected here? We could be. There's a touch car. Quad stacking reconnaissance units. Everything that I'm teaching people not to do is what I'm doing currently. That was an expensive bombing run for three points. That's 105. Let's eliminate that. Almost an hour-long video, come on. Uh-oh. Kill. So we can find another command unit. There's ten minutes left in this battle. What we got here? Another tank? Good god, give it a rest. What do you need? Well, round right about there. <laughs> We're sniping the infantry. Alright, conventional bombs. Not good enough.
I would like to have at least one bomber on standby so that I can quickly intervene. Plus three. Well done, snipers. Hold in that tree line. Eliminate anything that moves. Especially when it's armored. Uh oh. Uh oh. M72A4 law. That's not really a great weapon. Fuck. These things probably cannot even arm in time. No, they cannot. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Quick, 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 quick. Get the fuck out. Hmm, look at what I found. Go here. Go there. Bomb the shit out of that unit. There's two technicals nearby, but we'll live. Holy shit. Could you not? Everything. Bomb it. Drop it. Missed it. Well, not all of it. There's the other F-111. A little bit of damage to the F-111, courtesy of the technical. Well done. Can we eliminate those? Because that might allow us to push deeper to the other sector. One down. Oi! I was planning on using that. Something is disagreeing with that. Uh oh. At this point, just damage anything that moves. Preferably tanks. Unit down, there's a Tochka there. This way, this way, this way, this way. Get the tank, get the tank, get the tank. Well done. You can go. Oh, there's more. Huh. You didn't get it. The good news is the Dorman and LR are still in a position to do something useful here. Fob's about to be dead. Jesus! Four red arrows. Three of them. Fob destroyed. So be it. At least that distracted a unit for a substantial period of time. Get those Tochkas. Though if they're empty, they might not get picked up. Probably empty. Hold. We're gonna have to burn out those Fedayeen there. As long as the infantry survives, I should be able to keep the uh, vehicles with it. Got him. Come on. Got him. Well done. Bombing run complete. I can't see anything, but I am getting attacked. Oh, crap. You're not supposed to kill those off. Get him. Come on, Markovos. Hold on. For dear life. Got another one. Turn this way. Come around. Drop these cluster bombs. I'm intentionally getting them to come close. Come on, Artvark. Time is of the issue. Rovit at short range might actually overwhelm them. Kill. 
These are over either gone. Come on! Yeah, they eliminated one, gro one group. M70. Oh shit, there's a second one. M72 is such a shitty weapon. Makmats are empty. Damn, this is a hard fall fight. <laughs> Here we go. Sniping some reconnaissance infantry. Most of the Merkavas are falling back. There go the Rios. Three minutes and 50 seconds. That's how long I have to hold on. For dear life. Kill it! No, you can't. You don't have the firepower for it. Another Rio got blown up. Last two Merkavas. No, I have two more. Off you go. A problem that I now have is that I have very limited reconnaissance. So I'm very much struggling to get any kind of an intel on what the enemy is doing and where I need to do my bombing runs. Oh, shit. Well done. You did drop. I just don't exactly know where you're going to. Not bad. Not bad at all. Get the cash off. Well done. <laughs> Just dropped off the infantry. Immediately the tank gets wiped out. Two minutes, 37 seconds. What we got here? No. Do not make your presence known. Because they will kill you. Two Merkavas die. Drop off. Get out. Those red arrows have absolutely no sense of humor. And they will kill you. Case in point. Uh oh. Move! Run! Please tell me you're gonna hit that. It's not quite what I was expecting, but sure. 1 minute 50. This whole battle group is pretty exhausted. Kill. Get rid of those things. E yeah, got both. Perfect. Well done. These two Maglan guys have done some serious maneuvering around the whole map. Well done to them. Alright. Time to go fishing. I have 1 minute 16. I'm gonna bomb here. There. There. And there. I don't know where exactly the AI is going to put their CV, but let's try. Let's see what I can find. Dropped. 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 Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> it doesn't have to be subtle. <laughs> I got the last command unit. Oh, wow. Just fishing. Don't mind me, just fishing. Kills, 6,669. Losses, 1,573. So that's about a 4 to 1. I can accept that. I lost my Dove 8, my Dorbin, and my Palnat, leaving me only with anti air infantry. I lost one Dracon. I lost six of my 18 reconnaissance units. I lost no planes. I lost one Rio. Could have been worse. They lost their anti tank company, but the border regiment still lives, although they don't have a command unit, so they cannot attack on their own. Which is excellent news because it means that the tanks that I have will now take over the front line. They have very little left in the sense of infantry. Uh, all of those BMTs are thankfully gone. 
Their technicals are dead. Their artillery is mostly gone. All their cheap tanks are gone. All their ATGM units are gone. They have one Tunsha and three reconnaissance units. I'd say that was not a bad first fight, but damn, that took all that I had. That was a long one. Alright guys, with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm very much looking forward to the rest of the videos on this campaign. Be sure to follow the channel, subscribe, like the video, and comment on it with your findings so far. Download link is in the description. It is in a Google Doc. Read that first. There you can find the download link, and that way you can play this thing for yourself. Good luck if you're playing this, and please keep, keep the comment section tidy, because this is about a game. This is not about anything that is happening in real life. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more videos.